hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here welcome in leo it is almost leo seasons welcome in well maybe by the time this message is uploaded it's leo season today is the 21st of july uh happy birthday to you when you get this message so we're taking a look in this tarot card reading for you leo at your future current and past energy what's coming up for you what you're leaving behind and what you're currently experiencing leo all right so thank you so much for being here if you um find messages in this video that resonates with you on your journey do hit the thumbs up button and leave that little token of gratitude behind on this video also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload new content for you share the video with those that you love in your leo groups on facebook etc especially if the messages are on fire hmm. let me get started so i'm getting a feeling like some of you leo could be experiencing a bit of heartbreak or depression or sadness but the beautiful part about this experience that you're going through is that it will be over soon because you're at the nine and when you reach um at the position of nine you're almost at the ten so you're going through your stages of mourning and you're almost ready to start a new beginning possibly a new phase in healing <sighs> For your past energy, we have the Knight of Wands, which I feel like someone left, someone may have relocated, moved away, left out of a connection or relationship. So I do feel like this is a relationship that someone left. This is your energy, fire sign here, Leo. So I do feel like a departure from a relationship. I do feel like someone was left behind. I'm wondering if this person was aware when you decided to move on. Because I feel like you left this person standing right, you as if you left this person standing right there, and and you are the one that moved on, Leo. Okay. 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 Some of you may have returned to your your past community, your past home, a, a homeland, possibly returning to Africa. For some of you, with the Knight of Wands energy, could be returning to a place that that's um. I feel culture here returning to your culture uh, returning to a past love a past relationship returning to realign with your family to get healing this is you um, re giving your attention on yourself your self-love your well-being your healing okay so turning your attention to you to your healing okay so I feel like when you left this connection you were really doing it for the best of yourself hmm it's as if it dawned on you that in this connection that you're moving away from there there wasn't anything there that was serving you you wanted more it feels as if you were asking more of a person that was not giving to you this because i feel like maybe this person had some blockage or maybe blockage to commitment or to proper communication all right and 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 then it suddenly dawned on you like why am i here and so you left this person standing there it, it, it's like almost without warning you it's like you just did it for you you did it for you you moved on for yourself that's beautiful okay and then we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is beautiful. So I do feel like you, you decided to move on into your best version, into a lifestyle that will be, will be best for you, Leo. Okay, into your abundance, your abundant nature, your wealth. It's possible that this person was not seeing your full package. They just weren't. You. It's like your vision and this person's dream was different they weren't seeing all of uh the grandeur that you envisioned your life to be they think you were dreaming they think you were talking of dreams wishes and hopes that were too big for you to accomplish and so it's like you turned around and you looked at this relationship this partnership with this person and you're like so what am i doing here and while they were standing they weren't even ex i don't feel like this person that you left behind leo expected you to 
operate this quickly or so savagely or so independently or so undoubt like without without doubt as if you just made this move so clearly so bravely there was no question that this wasn't the right relationship for you or the right partner for you i know i'm spending a lot of time here in your past energy but that's that's i feel like i needed to really break that down that you left for you you saw your future you were dreaming big and you knew what you what the lifestyle that you wanted to step into and now in your current energy leo i have for you the queen look at you so you're feeling pretty you're sitting like the queen i feel like some of you could be going through uh um it's a time of the month when you're ovulating so you're feeling very fertile uh very kind very calm cool relaxed very in um very even um intuitive at this time tuning into the moon's energy I feel like you're you're just really centered emotionally in yourself this in this time period. Okay, there are cycles going through in your emotional field through your body right now. Okay, so if some of you are trying to have children, this could be a beautiful time for that. If some of you are thinking in that area, I feel you feel full like the moon. Um like when a you know when crabs have a lot of eggs eggs are that's the energy you just feel fertile and full right now with the queen of cups energy very creative also i feel like you're so very abundant and creative your body is glowing okay so someone could be pregnant possibly all right that's the energy of feeling full and glowing up and looking beautiful oh hey all right some of you could be dreaming and wishing like maybe you don't have your man yet you are actually the queen or the king you know let it, the genders apply so you're sitting here on your throne leo and uh says that you're you are wife material or husband material so that is the quality of life or our partner that you wish to attract to you because that is how you are carrying yourself okay so you attract what you are so you are already the queen you're so beautiful you're ready that's what i'm saying ready so fertile listen hey <laughs> you could you you are ready it's like if you're not married yet and you're single some of you you're ready to find your man if he's not here yet because he came out in the reverse if he's here i mean you could be ready for him to plant that seed or this could be you if you're a man you're ready to plant some seeds hey look at you you're like hey woman i'm ready to plant some seed that's that's the energy okay so you already feel abundant and this is the king and queen of cups so this could be soulmate energy we also have the six of cups so it definitely could be a, a reunion between two twin souls so that's what's going on for you i thought i would see a lot of work energy but i'm seeing relaxation i'm seeing thinking of marriage and union and growing a family having a kingdom at and, and a partner that matches you equally. All right. You, I feel like you're already abundant. <gasps> Whoa. All right. This is the card of her, the Hierophant. This is the card of marriage union. Hey. Hey. Oh my God. Some of you are currently getting married. Literally. Some of you are planning your weddings. Some of you, this could today, July the 21st, on my birthday, you could be getting married. All right, Leo. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Okay. 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 Someone could be dreaming. Someone could have wanted this for a while. What was holding back? All right, we don't, I don't feel like we want to get into that, the, the reason why you are holding back right now. But it, the thing is, this is a beautiful union. You could be getting, look, someone offered you, it could be, Leo, that you went back to someone and, and offered them a commitment here. This could be a ring. This could be a proposal that you're being offered here. And now you're married. Oh my gosh. Some of, some of you could have traveled to get married, traveled away to a different country, perhaps. Some of you are going to Africa on vacation for some that, or some, some place like Africa. 
I mean, where, where there's there's sunlight and there's heat, it could be the Caribbean, perhaps, you know. But I do see the, the, the pyramids here. That's what I'm saying. Traveling to Africa, maybe before your your honeymoon, perhaps. Okay. All right. So you're definitely getting married. You could be connecting to a water sign. And Leo, I have been saying this for the past couple readings. There's a water sign in your life that you love or that loves you a lot. And you guys are about to really make it happen here. Getting married. The king. You guys love each other. You dream of one another. Uh, someone may be about to get pregnant. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And in the future. Here. So if you're getting married. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. If you get this message on your birthday. Happy happy birthday to you. Alright. Much love. And now we're going to see what is in your future energy Leo. It's as if I don't want to stop. There's something here between the two people. Here. This is so beautiful. So someone went back, made an, a proposal. It was accepted. Now you're getting married. This person loves you. Okay. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. You guys love each other. In your future, Leo, we have the emperor. And this could be business, work, money. As if, um, ooh, it's as if you got married and now it's back to business. <laughs> exactly. Now you're back at work. It's like maybe you ran away to get married because we do have the night of one. Someone may have eloped or, or went back to their home country. And, and got married and now they're coming back at work and just work and they didn't invite a lot of people or tell a lot of people about the wedding they're just coming back to work here I do see you working coming back to work with a ring on your finger and everyone is going to notice it and that's when you will announce what's going on the seven of ones I feel like you're coming back to work and there's there's something a little bit different about you and that's that ring on your finger here it looks different. It looks uh it looks strange and out of place to many. But as as people begin to to notice you as you work here, some of you could have a platform that you work on where people see you, watch you work, okay? Leo, and they'll it, I feel like they'll get used to seeing it on your finger. The five. They'll they'll get used to seeing it on your finger this ring. Hmm. Oh, it feels like you'll move. Yeah, it's so, it's so, um, it feels like you'll be, um, including or involving your family, having to do with your family, a generation or wealth here, your family, possibly your father. Having to do with your family, possibly having your husband on the show, your wife on the show with you, having um, where you're, I mean, where, 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 where you work. So, someone will be turning up where you work, showing up where you work. You could be taking your partner to work with you for the first time. Hmm. What is the five of what is the five of pentacles in Leo's reading? What is it saying? The eight. So someone is moving, trusting, following their heart. Eight of cups coming toward it's like maybe someone is coming to coming with you. It's as if they are following their heart. Following their heart to come. Oh, <laughs> This king loves you or this this woman or this man it's like they trust you with their heart so whatever vision you have of your life this person will will be there with you that's the energy so it's like taking someone to work with you but this man or woman will stand behind beside you or behind you so strong so bold so brave so powerfully it, this man could have dark skin too 
I see a radiant energy, like melanated skin shining. This person trusts you with their heart. They'll follow you. They'll come on your journey with you. They'll stand with you proudly, boldly. So that's the next step. So the next step. Okay, look, all of these just came out together. Six of hearts two of hearts union divine union and soulmate and not the queen of cups repeated once more we have the king and the queen of hearts the six repeated so this could be a, a past love connection someone from your hometown so your future i feel like it involves major work and um, maybe what you've been afraid of is if this person, if your partner will support you. But you're aligning with a person that is amazing for you. You two are soulmates. And you'll take no time to get married. You're, take, you're not wasting time. Something is happening soon. How soon will Leo be married to this person? Is, are they already married? Majority already married? Hmm wed already wed some already wed some waiting some single <laughs> so if you are single waiting for your man i said that earlier like if you haven't manifested this connection you're waiting you're saving yourself some of you are literally working on yourself saving yourself for this connection to come through so keep your vision keep visualizing the ooh there's so much i feel like so many people said so many things a while ago just that's something i was about to say so keep your vision alive keep dreaming keep um visualizing the man or woman of your dreams do not give in do not give up <laughs> all right keep 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 doing what you're doing keep dreaming big we have the king and queen of pentacles keep dreaming big we have a lot of, like you too the person that is your soulmate you're about to do something huge together when it comes to your business something that you're working on that's why you need a strong partner and you two align very well and this is so beautiful and i love it for you leo i do hope you stay through the whole message Remember that if you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Leave me that little token behind of gratitude. I really do appreciate your support. If you're interested in supporting further, uh, do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And share the video with those you love. I said that earlier. Thank you so much for all of your support. This has been a beautiful message. A beautiful set of messages for you. Two of cups repeated on the bottom of the deck. Leo. Hmm. Have faith. Trust. Trust. Trust your journey. Trust in your journey. Trust in your journey. Have faith and trust in your journey ahead, Leo. You're about to align with an amazing partner. Beautiful and blessed and divine. I love you. And I will see you in another reading. Right? Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you.